In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Crema Pigmentos recipe book. Now, I got super, super excited when this book came out uh, because I, at the time I was a paint maker and I was like, it's going to have all the recipes. I have to say, at the time, yes, I was making paints, but I knew that I was going to be stopping. So that's why I didn't get it. However, I was very, very excited when Crema sent me this book for free. I was like, thank you so much. I didn't even ask. They were like, just have these with all the other products that we sent you. So we've had the blue palette and all the lovely, lovely brushes. So I was very excited. Now, I have to admit, I misunderstood what this book was about. I mean, it's a beautiful book and it's a wonderful book. But as soon as I looked at the content, I knew I made a mistake because I'm watercolor focused. I thought it was going to be a book of recipes of different colors, because if you know anything about paint making for each pigment, the recipe is very different and you have to test it out. And I thought it was going to be a recipe book of different pigments and the ratio and the recipe for each of those colors. Turns out it is not. I wanted to make this video a to thank Crabmelt for sending me this video and promote this book, but also to let you guys know if you had the same thought as me about what this book was going to be about, then you're going to be in for a surprise. So I want to show you guys what is contained in this book so that there's no surprises when you do buy it and you will know exactly what to buy it for. Looking at the content, we actually have watercolor, emulsion paint, acrylic paint, oil paint, oil paint and oil varnish and miscellaneous. So immediately that tells me there's this much. So from page six to 14 is watercolor and the rest is other paints. That means if you are just watercolorist and no other medium, you are only going to have eight pages of content that is going to be of use to you. Now, those eight pages might be the most important eight pages and, and it's exactly what you're looking for. But I just wanted to let you guys know that if you buy the whole book, there's eight pages for watercolors. What this book will be great for is if you do do a lot of different mediums, such as the ones that are covered in this book. The book is beautifully, beautifully made. As you can see, it is got lots and lots of photos. For watercolor, it you had the introduction page, and then you have watercolor based on a gum Arabic, and it gives you the methods of how to make the watercolor binder that out from gum Arabic crystals, and some notes. And then how to make watercolor using watercolor medium, which is very useful. So if you are starting out in making your own paints and you don't know where to start and you just want the basic information to get you going, maybe you want to know the exact terms that you're going to need for Googling or asking people questions, then this is a great start. However, it's also very summarizing rather than right you need to do this and this and this and this and there's also a little bit of troubleshooting but not hugely so i would recommend if maybe get this book get the general flow of the process watch a few videos there's plenty of videos on the paint making on youtube that you can search for i have a video on the basic tools that you're going to need for paint making which i will link up here for you so you know what to buy and then we have gouache and then iron gold ink, which is uh, something that I've never heard of before, but it looks awesome. But I would, Do you... ooh, you need 18 parts oak apple and put them in a plastic bag. Ooh, so use oak apple as well as gum arabic. I didn't know that, that's really interesting. So if you are a pigment nerd like me and you just want to know how different paints are made, then this book is great because it covers a lot and lot and lot of different kinds of paints, but it doesn't cover lots and lots of different kinds of color. So I just want to make that clear. And so you know exactly what you're going in for. You have egg tempera and apparently there's lean egg tempera as well as 
no main one i guess egg tempera so you get normal ones and you you get to find out the all the ingredients you need to create that type of paint and rough proportions of each of those things as well as method so I mean for me this is a beautiful book and I love it because I am nosy about how other mediums are made and this book will be brilliant if you for for schools to educate kids on how different paints are made because I totally missed out my art education admittedly it was only I did art GCSE which is not even the one that you the qualification that gets you into university it's the one before that it's the one you have take when you're 15. I don't have any other art education so admittedly that is like three years of art at school in middle school however it's definitely when I got older that I actually understood what was in these paint these different paints like oil paints acrylic paints watercolor gouache what the differences are and i would think that this would be great book to have if you're an art teacher at school so that the kids can learn oh these are what makes these paints different from each other and also look there are so so many other paints that you could explore and it will definitely expand the imagination and it's like oh wow it's not just oil color um it's not just oil paint and acrylic paint and watercolor there is so much more but do i think this is useful for the general audience that comes to this channel which is mostly watercolor paint focused and even if they do make watercolor then they focus on watercolors and no other paint then mm, probably not if you are already into watercolors then you're probably gonna know all the information that this book offers you in the eight pages and don't forget two of those are uh, intro so you have watercolor base on gum arabic and watercolor medium and the gouache and that's it oh sorry we have iron gall ink as well but I don't think many people are making iron gall ink at home. So basically three different things. If you use crema products for making your paints, then this will be useful to you because it has the ingredients and how much to put them in and how to work with those exact products. So if you have those products and you've had a little bit of trouble with those mediums or those products, then this book might be useful to you. But on the whole, I'm really, really sorry because, you know, when I get free stuff to review, I want, I definitely want to be honest, but I also want to, like, be grateful and create good publicity for the products. And I hope I tried that with the blue palette and the brushes. But for most people that watch this channel, I don't think this will be useful. It will definitely be interesting and if you are just nosy and you're into it and you're interested in it then definitely go for it but do not go for this book if you think it's going to be full of watercolor recipes with different colors like i did um because you will be disappointed and i wouldn't want you to be disappointed um, in buying creme stuff because creme stuff are very very good also, if you're a DIYer, it has some very interesting recipes like colouring concrete and colouring epoxy resin. I know a few of you do epoxy resin stuff along as well as watercolour, so that might be useful. This book is mostly for having it because it's pretty and it's, it's a good archive of information that will get you started. Or if you've always been like, oh, I wonder what's the difference between this and this and how did I make it? definitely go for this book like i love this book because i'm into all that however i know that not everyone is so be very aware of what this book is and make sure it matches with what you are wanting from a book like this definitely definitely interesting book i love it i'm just really sorry to Kramer and david from Kramer because i have to be honest with what suits this 
what suits my audience thank you so much for watching this video so huge thanks and huge apology to david from crema because you know he's been incredibly incredibly generous in sending me all these products and I, I do want to give him positive publicity and i hope this is positive for the right people thank you thank you so much for this book and all the other products you've sent me so kindly thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it do let me know what you think of this and whether it will be useful to you in the comments down below and i will see you in the next episode bye